So let's talk about um, tooth colored fillings. And so the plastic fillings that a lot of dentists still do is called bisphenol A glycidyl methacrylate, glycidyl methacrylate. So bis GMA resin. A lot of dentists don't even realize that the bis of bis GMA resin that we use in dentistry is bisphenol A, bis GMA. And it's a major endocrine disruptor. So we had mercury fillings being removed, then putting in plastic fillings. But, you know, you went from mercury to BPA. BPA is a problem. Uh, as a matter of fact, there were sealants in kids. This is a 2012 study on 434 children who had their cavities filled with a white composite resin known as bis-GMA. Um, we saw drops in psychosocial uh, function. Treated kids become more moody, aggressive, generally less well-adjusted. It's been linked to ADD, ADHD. So what do we have? We now have the emergence of BPA-free tooth filling, tooth color fillings. I introduced a product from Germany. Um, we'll talk about, let's see where it is. This is it. It's called Admira Fusion. Um, it is a non-BPA direct universal restorative. So it's a tooth colored filling that we can do that has no BPA. And this is what we use in our office. So what's the deal with BPA? Um, many of you probably know this already. Huge endocrine disruptor, estrogen mimic. It's been linked to breast cancer and, and uh, uh, prostate cancer, neuroblastoma, um, reproductive anomalies, DNA alterations, heart disease, diabetes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we got to get BPAs, you know, people, you know, it, it's really interesting, even in toothpaste, um, we were putting um, triclosan copolymer with, with chlorinated water. It converts to chloroform uh, and it's a non-biodegradable pesticide. And it was the EPA that was petitioning the FDA, take it out of toothpaste and uh, household products. And um, Colgate quietly removed it and, and put in a, another ingredient for their Colgate total product. Um, but at any rate, um, we see these things where BPAs, we're, we're so, uh, you know, concerned about the environment and not drinking out of a plastic water bottle and, and a hot car that has BPA in its plastic, but you could have it in your mouth, which is warm. And when you grind your teeth and chew, you're swallowing this stuff. So, um, again, I actually use a safe removal protocol for plastic fillings. And, and I, again, we're going to talk about this at the end. And I know there are a lot of hands up. I'm actually happy that I'm striking a chord because I want, I want to give you a rational protocol for how you should look at this. If you have a tooth colored filling that's in, and the margins are sound and, or you have a dental amalgam where the margins are sound and you have no autoimmune issues or any other problems, I don't want you to run out there and rip out your amalgams or rip out your BPA fillings or rip out your root canals. I want you to have a sound protocol. But if those fillings are leaking, if they are wearing down, they should be removed safely and replaced with a non-BPA containing restorative material or a ceramic implant, if it's a metal implant that's failing or a root canal that's failing or an, you know, an amalgam, and like I said. So we're, we'll talk about that. We do not live in a perfect world, everyone. So I I'm just want everyone to be conscious. We're raising our consciousness here for how we should be taking care of ourselves. Mm -hmm.